I'm Dr. Mia Duncan, and welcome to the Vaginal Channel, your resource for all things related to women's pelvic health. Because I'm going to be doing a series on urinary tract infections and how to protect yourself, any good conversation about that starts with a review of anatomy, um, especially female anatomy as it pertains to getting UTIs. Why is this important? Because about two thirds of women in their lifetime will have a urinary tract infection, and these can be life threatening. In addition to them being life-threatening, they can also affect quality of life and can increase your risk of exposure to antibiotics and all of their complications. So before we dive into the series, let's review anatomy. First of all, this is a model of the vulva. This shows the outside labia, outer, and the inner, smaller labia here. And at the opening, you'll see the vaginal entry right here in that teeny tiny little pinpoint hole right there, which is the entry to the urinary tract. Because the urinary entry point, the urethra, is part of the vaginal opening, this is the first thing that makes women susceptible to things like urinary tract infections. The second is that our bladder, which is right here and urethra right here are right next to the vagina and because of that extremely close relationship it makes us very susceptible to getting infections introduced into the urinary tract during penetrative sexual activity and so when you look at the picture it is worth a thousand words this will show you right here why our plumbing is somewhat at fault for why we can be prone to urinary tract infections. Urinary tract infection or UTI is really a non-specific term. UTI just means urinary tract infection, meaning anywhere in the urinary tract and here is your urinary tract. So urinary tract infection can be present in the kidneys. That's called a kidney infection or the medical term is pyelonephritis. It can be present in the ureter tubes, ureteritis, or in the bladder, that's called cystitis. That's the most common kind of urinary tract infection that a person will get. And then lastly, the urethra, which is the little exit tube here from the urinary tract, and that's called urethritis. So infection can occur in any of these areas. Once inside the urethra, the bacterial infection can take hold anywhere along this entire tract. Stay tuned for more videos, and if you like learning about the urinary tract and your public health, please subscribe and come back for more.